In other news, people continue to visit memorial altars nationwide to share their sorrow and pay respects to those who died in the crowd crush in Itaewon over the weekend. Our reporters have been at the one in downtown Seoul since early this morning to see how people are paying their respects. Our Kim bo -gyung is there right now. bo -gyung, what's the latest from where you are? Well, hello, Devin. I'm out at Seoul Plaza in front of City Hall, which is where one of 67 memorial altars has been set up nationwide. This place is just a 50-minute drive from Itaewon, which is where a Saturday night's tragedy happened. President Yoon sa again paid a visit here at around 9 a.m. with members of cabinet and officials from the presidential office and laid a chrysanthemum on the altar before bowing his head in silence. This is, this is President Yoon's third visit since the altar was set up. His first was also here at Seoul Plaza with First Lady Kim Gonyi on Monday, and the second on Tuesday was at Duksakpyeong Station, just right down the street from the site of the Itaewon incident. We have been seeing mourners coming in continuously since early morning, laying flowers and leaving messages of condolences. As of Tuesday evening, more than 41,000 people had come to Seoul Plaza and the other memorial sites set up in the 25 districts of Seoul. On the first day, there were more than 17,000, and on Tuesday, more than 24,000. The altar at Seoul Plaza runs from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. every day until Saturday, November 5th, that is, the last day of the week-long national mourning period. Visitors have included diplomats from other countries. And for example, I also spoke with a Canadian tourist who had just been in Japan and then decided to pay her respects when she arrived in Korea. It means that it's a much loss. So many young people and represent the future of the world. So that's why we are here you know, to express our very, very sorry and sadness to those young people. We found out actually when we went to a church service on Sunday in Kyoto, so we're still in Japan, that this horrible accident happened in Seoul, Korea. We, it's so sad. I feel so bad for the families and the people that were just out having a good time and you know ready to celebrate they hadn't been out for so long because of covid and then to die in such you know horrible situation with we were watching well we can really see the heartfelt grief among the people here in seoul which we all share uh, it's been a very somber week for everyone bogyang what's the latest with regard to the casualties well, Devin, there is no change in the number of death toll. According to Central Disaster and Safety Countermeasures Headquarters, as of Wednesday, 11 a.m., the death toll stands at 156. Out of them, 130 were Koreans, and the other 26 were identified as non-Koreans. 101 were women, and the rest were men. Most of the dead were in their 20s. Funerals have already been held for 68 people, and meanwhile, the number of injured has gone up to 172, an addition of 15 more from the previous update at 6 a.m. 33 are reportedly in serious condition. That's all for me for now, but I will have more updates for our later newscast. All right, Kim Bo-gyung, live from uh, Seoul City Hall. Thank you for that report.